Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and in this video, we'll be heading to Japan, where a panel formed by Japan's Transport Ministry has proposed new measures to boost safety at the country's airports. Among the proposed measures include the addition of more air traffic control staff and the creation of a new role to coordinate takeoffs and landings on the runways. Reported initially by outlets such as the Asahi Shimbun and the Japan Times, the expert panel shared their recommendations for the Japanese government and airports throughout the country to implement. This particular panel, formed by the Japan's Ministry of Land Transportation, Infrastructure and Tourism, or MOLET for short, was tasked to issue recommendations to improve safety and to prevent runway incursions as a result of pilot error following the collision between a Japan Airlines Airbus A350 and a Japan Coast Guard Dash 8 earlier this year at Tokyo's Hanada Airport. The first of the recommendations that the panel issued was to hire more air traffic control staff at major airports in Japan. According to the panel, this would reduce the workload on air traffic controllers at seven major airports along with Tokyo's Hanada Airport, including at Sapporo New Chitose, Tokyo's Narita, Osaka Kansai, and Naha. Along with the hiring of more air traffic control staff, the panel also recommended the creation of a new role to monitor runways to coordinate takeoffs and landings. Staff taking on this role would communicate with pilots and coordinate with other air traffic control staff as to the aircraft getting on or off the runway, especially after takeoffs and landings. The second recommendation covers the use of certain phrases in pilot and air traffic control communications. In particular, the resumption of the phases number one and number two often used to communicate the order of aircraft in line for takeoff and landing. Concerns were raised after the collision at Haneda earlier this year that it would lead to confusion and pilots would mistake in it for a clearance to enter the runway. As a result, the use of the phrase was stopped after the collision, though now it will be resumed as pilots have stated it is useful to know what position the aircraft is in line for takeoff. The last major recommendations covers runways and air traffic control tech, in particular the runway status lights or RWSL. Runway status lights are lighting systems for aircraft and vehicle operators at airports to know when the runway is in use and no crossings should be done. It's used in airports, including some in Japan. However, it was noted that Haneda Airport is not equipped with it. Adding to this, while airports in Japan do have monitoring systems used by air traffic controllers to see any runway incursions, audio alerts will be added to the monitoring systems, and also a visual alert will be displayed, especially in critical situations. It's been now around six months since the collision, which while fortunately all the passengers on board the Japan Airlines A350 were able to exit the aircraft, the Japan Coast Guard tragically lost personnel on board the Dash 8. While these recommendations have been issued, the investigation into the collision by the Japan Transport Safety Board is still ongoing. With these recommendations, the Japanese government and airports are looking to implement them starting this summer amid the busy summer travel season. For Japan's airports, the government is looking to bring in more personnel and enhance existing tech to boost safety at the airports and to prevent similar collisions from happening again. What are your thoughts on the recommendations issued by Japan's Transport Ministry panel? And will it lead to improved safety at Japan's airports? I definitely would love to hear your take though. In the meantime, this has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.